What, what, what would it do, gamers and gamer girls? It is your boy, God Hand, back again. Thanks so, so much for stopping by the video. Look at me starting already. You guys make me nervous, man. You guys are all so pretty and beautiful, you know? I'm just some ugly troll on the internet talking to you guys. But anyway, guys, so today, I want to talk to you guys uh, about the controversies, you know? And the gaming community, at least not anymore, we are not strangers to controversies. Like that killer right there, that's a controversy. How the hell did I die by that? Anyway, so yeah, we are not... Uh, <laughs> We're not ashamed of getting some stuff uh, uh, stirred in the gaming community. I mean, we got no pre-order for 2025, 2015, excuse me. Um, <laughs> we got Gamergate. You know, we got uh, all kinds of stuff that, that, that happens in the gaming community. Um, but, you know, there are certain, there are certain uh, things or causes or movements that happen within the gaming community that expressly benefit us. Um, no pre-orders for 2015 is something that benefits us. There's no doubt about it. Um, whatever side of, of uh, the, the, the destiny thing you're on, whether you, you know, believe that it's a good game and that's on you, or, or whether you are someone who, you know, saw the game as for what it is, for what it, you know, it, it was a, a scam. And you, you know, using the, uh, the, 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 the events of that game as a model and as a platform to say, hey, you know, guys, we should make sure that we get what we pay for. Um, nobody can argue against that. Getting what you pay for, right? Whether or not you enjoy Destiny, you want to get what you paid for. Simple as that. Um, so, in terms of those things, things that expressly uh, benefit the gaming community, um, I want to talk about something I've seen. Not, I'm not. It's not growing, and it's not like a, a, a huge thing right now. But <clears throat> you know, whenever something is wrong, whenever something is is just inherently just wrong it's always good to, to point it out that way people can kind of you know notice what's going on and deal with it you know instead of it becoming a bigger thing but with with these causes um i've seen something you know something that's been you know kind of steady happening in like if you go to some youtube videos or some subreddits talking about one, one of these uh, movements or controversies or whatever um whenever somebody tries to you know have these things be known so that the gaming community can like i said make moves towards correcting it it's always this group of people that they, they start spouting this rhetoric of um, you know not being in, in your personal army they're not your pawns or whatever to be using your personal army and this has always fascinated me this has always been something that I'm just like what is this guy talking about because like I said once again uh, uh, advocating for getting what you pay for um, is not something that you, you can't argue against that you can't argue against that um, so when somebody, you know, for that type of subject comes and says, oh, you know, this guy's just trying to get us riled up so we can be in, in his personal army, you know, we're, we're not his pawns. And now, see, now, I know there's there's corporate shows out there, you know, people, you know, who benefit, like corporations benefit for, from us pre-ordering games, you know, uh, Activision and all that. I'm not talking about those guys. I know those, I know they do it, but I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people, me and you. Uh, real people who generally think that's what's going on. If let me tell you something, if somebody is is spouting, you know, we need to pre-order everything and always pre-order, that person's an enemy. That person is not looking out for your benefit. That is a person that is undoubtedly against, uh, uh, you know, gamers and 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 just and just a good gaming industry. That person's against you. So. I, you know that, and and that's what I see when when someone says, "Oh, you know, this guy's just trying to get us in his personal army," and you know, once again, this is not a huge thing going on, but I just want to bring it to you guys' attention. If you guys see this, like, you know, chastise this guy. <laughs> Tell him he's being ridiculous. I could understand if somebody's, you know, doing like a personal vendetta thing on on against Activision or whatever. That makes sense. But when somebody's saying, "Hey, Activision," You know, stop locking DLC that we already bought. That's already on this. Don't lock that. That's not so. That's that, that benefits everybody. That's not a personal vendetta. That's not something. That's not somebody trying to get you in their personal army. You know. So I just wanted like to, to get that out there because I, I've seen that way too much, and it's kind of it's kind of scary to see real people like you know dismissing a great cause, something that benefits them because this ridiculous thought that. 
the person that's bringing this to light is trying to get them in some sort of personal army. It, it, it's stupid. It really is very stupid. But, you know, it happens. And, you know, people are ignorant sometimes. I'm ignorant about some things, some things I don't understand, you know. So, but if, if it's the case of you not understanding, then let it be known. Like, hey, what is this going on or whatever, you know? What's what's this cause about? What's this guy talking about? If, if it wasn't clear in the video already. But don't just dismiss something <laughs> because you don't understand and say, oh, this person is just in it for some personal bandana or they... You know, they're trying to get you in their personal army. Yeah, I know genocide is bad, but he shouldn't be talking about it. He's just trying to get us in his personal army, you know. So genocide is really not that bad. And <laughs> it's like, come on, guy, what are you talking about? But uh, yeah, that's just something I just wanted to talk to you guys about. I, just, I keep seeing it. It's weird, <laughs> and it doesn't really make sense. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the gameplay right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Got beers a couple times. I hate it. Uh, Black Ops 2 was broken as free. <laughs> So hopefully the next one will be good. It's your boy Godhand, and I am out.